Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. From Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. Game one of the National League Championship Series. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. So just about set and stepping in is the speedy Tommy Edmond. Next pitch misses way outside. And here it comes. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. The 3 1. Yeah, there's the strike. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Oh, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. The pitch. And ball four to a board. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. This guy has turned into a beast. And one and two. Well, if they can push one across here in the first inning, would really settle the crowd down and help take that element out of the game early. The pitch. In the dirt. And two in scoring position now, thanks to that wild pitch. ball left side throw on to Freeman but the go-ahead run comes in to score that is it. The third base. now Nolan Arenado this guy is one of the best athletes in the sport seeing you talk about a guy that has all the skills the range is really good but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays Goldie, the runner at second with one away. Pitch misses inside, three and one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. pitch that one ripped left field on its way and it's gone 
Nolan Arenado goes deep, and they add a pair. It's 3-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. This is Dylan Carlson. And a 1-1. That one in for a strike, 2-2. Two and two. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. and just can eat you up, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. Two outs, base is empty. Corey Dickerson. Next up for the Cardinals. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 3-0. of the first and starting in this one Jack Flaherty how about a scouting report on him well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons he may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working but if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out hitters it's going to be a tough day he's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance bottom of the first and now Mookie Betts this is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And one gone. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Righty to the plate. Ball that time. Just Three missed. Two. Hits for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Back to back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Turner climbs in on that right side. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Justin Turner takes in deep, and they inch closer. It's 3-1. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. Chris, that ball came out hot. 
So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Next one just misses. Full count three and two. And down on strikes. And that's the third out. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And this is now a three one ball game. here at Chavez Ravine and stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina so it's game one of the LCS and they're going to be looking to this guy for more of his success like he had in the division series well this team's got its sights set on the World Series if they're going to get there it's going to be because of his performance tosses to first one out in the second Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Fair to say he wasn't his typical self in the division series. Chris, I talked to the staff, and they are confident that he's going to deliver big here in the LCS. Yeah, you see these guys around him, and they know he's a stud, and they know it's just a matter of one swing that he breaks out. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Nope. Next one misses, and it's two and two. downstairs and outside and that one hammered back there pulls it in on the warning track and now Bader up to the plate well, it's pretty clear that he was frustrated, and even he admitted as much with his performance in their last series, but now a chance to hit the reset button. That's one of the things he's going to have to get used to, being the superstar player in this lineup. They are going to pitch you very tough, and if you make the adjustment, you can have success. I think you'll have it in this one. And a foul ball. The why to kick the pitch stays alive and that one hit to first tosses to the pitcher covering the bag St. Louis goes down in order Redbirds down quietly but they still lead it 3-1 here in L.A. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. That's Upstairs. Ball. Kicks and fires. They say it went. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. The 2-2 two -two now. Got him. And quickly one away in the second. 
Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here comes Max Muncy. Next pitch misses outside. Ball two. There's a strike. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. Chop back up the middle. Fires over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, base is empty. Now the batter now, Chris Taylor. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Popped in the air, left field. Diving, makes the grab. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. Back here at the ballpark, Tommy Edmond at the plate. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a runner aboard to start the inning. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. The 1-1. That misses off the outside edge. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The count two and one. And a foul ball. Edmund aboard here at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses and the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Three. Got him. And there's one down. Tyler O'Neill next up for the Cardinals. Grounded out his first time. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Here's a 1-1. One -one. There's a strike. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. And a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. And a pitch. In the air, left side. Taylor going back on this one. Makes the grab, two down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Two-one pitches in there, and the count is even. 
stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. That hits the dirt, and that's ball three. On the ground to the left. Turner with the throw to first. And they get Arenado for the out. And the inning is over. So one left for the Cardinals as the lead remains 3-1. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are the able to make tough plays look easy. Cody Bellinger. One down, there comes Cody Bellinger. Carlson glides back. That one ripped right center field. Cody Bellinger blasts one out, and they close the gap. It's 3-2. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Here's Mookie Betts. The pitch. That one not close. Three and one. It's foul away. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. He did a nice job right there. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers claw back a bit with this homer. And the home team down a run. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Dylan Carlson. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Left-hand batter waits. On the ground. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Here's Corey Dickerson.
next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. One gone runner at first. And up next for St. Louis, Yadier Molina. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. outside he's been trying to tease the zone with that slider but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone here comes a pitch swing and a miss struck him out and two away now typically that high fastball if it's close to the top of the strike zone a hitter if he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss now it's the shortstop Paul DeYoung and the pitch oh, okay. Get it out towards right center. Nice grab. Well, that one was headed for the gap, but a nice leaping catch. He goes up. Perfect timing, and that will end the inning. Bottom four. Here's the third baseman, Justin Turner. a 1-1 out to short the young throws the first in time and Turner is retired the first baseman number five Freddie Freeman Freddie Freeman up to the dish singing you can't ask for anything more this guy checks all the boxes offensively He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The wind and the pitch. Off the outside oh, yeah. edge, and now the count is two and two. One hit to right. Carlson under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Catcher. Will. Two outs. Base is empty. The batter now will be Will Smith. The pitch. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Dodgers down in order, and it's still a 3-2 ball game.
We go to the top of the fifth, and now Harrison Bader. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Bueller looked to first. Bader dives back. Bader gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. Okay. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Three, two. That's ripped. Base hit. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next to hit, Paul Goldschmidt. Going to count one and two. Kicks and deals. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. No outs. Runners at first and second. Out towards left center. Taylor under this one. Puts the squeeze on it. One away. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Swaying and a miss. And it's one and two. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Here's a one-two. In the dirt, but kept close. Throw, save! And both runners move up on the wild pitch. The one-one. Foul ball there. Second and third, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hard liner. And that is gone. That'll fire up the dugout. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. 
When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So two away with nobody on. Now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. That misses the zone. Two and one. And the right hater deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Taylor sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And that is that. St. Louis gets three on the homer. It's now 6-2. here at Dodger Stadium. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is filled up. Swings and misses, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Chris Taylor now. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The one, two. And now two and two. Righty delivers. Stays alive. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. And there's a ball. And he walked him. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boog, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And here it comes. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner for first. Throw to second. Great jump. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. Runner at second here. One gone. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there are two down. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. Man on second, two down. And that one a little bit high. Man at second. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Coming around third is Taylor. He'll score. It's six to three. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's Mookie now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Next pitch misses. 
two and one. At the belt and fires. Carlson towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Left-hander on now, Tyler Anderson. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Anderson ready to work. Pitch misses. Three and two down. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Phil Bickford up and throwing. Price, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Taylor settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. Now Molina at the plate. Three and two now. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. And he takes it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So if all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a two-one on the way. The two on is high. Three one now. Swings through that. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Next offering is fouled back. And that is that. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cardinals six and the Dodgers three. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Trey Turner. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Edmonds slings the first. One up, one down. Now back, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Justin Turner now. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And he deals. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Up the middle. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Man at first with one gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. 
Left hand hitter waits. Good eye in that spot. And a pitch. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Carlson makes the grab two away down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Man at first, and up next for Los Angeles, Will Smith. The pitch. In the air, left field. And they get the out on Smith. And that's the inning. So the Dodgers leave one, and they're still doubled up. It's 6-3. to three. Back here at Chavez Ravine. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Betts is on the move. And there's one down. Now batting. The first baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt will hit next. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. To the right side, Lux collects, and two away to start the seven. The and stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Bounced up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Third out, and that ends the frame. And down in order go the Cardinals, as they're unable to add to their 6-3 lead. And a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Nick Whitgren trying to protect this lead. Back here in L.A., ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Max Muncy. Here's a 1-1. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Here's a 1-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next pitch is inside. Full count now. Got him swinging. And now one away. Here's the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Here comes a pitch. That That's one off the three. mark, and a count is three and one. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. Kicks and fires. Fouls one away, and now three and two.
deflected in the air right center field. Carlson makes his way towards it, brings it in with a nice run and grab. Two down. Now back, second baseman, Gavin. And now it's Gavin Lux. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Giovanni Gallegos, the closer of the staff, is throwing. And a pitch. That's the third. Throws across the diamond. And that ends the inning. Dodgers go down quietly and can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. And a pitch. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Smith right there to make the grab. One down. The right fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson next up for the Cardinals. of the pitch stays alive on the ground to third sends it to first and a couple of quick outs up next to the card the designated hitter Corey Dickerson two outs base is empty Here's Dickerson now. One for three. And now the lefty. In the air to left center. Taylor coming in on it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. But they still lead it 6-3. Helsley on a pitch out of the pen here. Number 56. Ryan Helsley. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses two and two. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead, it should be a W. Out there to center, Bader moving back for this one. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And there's one down. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. And it's even up. Swing and a tapper. Over to Goldie. Two up, two down. The batter number six. Shortstop. Turner. Here's Turner now. The 1-1. One, one. 
There's a strike. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Molina on the first. That's the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. And a pinch. That one finds the corner, and it's a full count. The line and the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. In the air, right field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So digging in, Paul DeYoung. Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. The belt and fires. Stays alive. Molina gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Now one gone in the ninth. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. And at first, here's a speed threat. Harrison Bader, a strikeout and a walk. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Way outside. Two and two. The pitch. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up. Get him into scoring position and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. A switch hitter batting right. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. Right side, Lux over to pick it up. On to first. That's the third out. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cardinals six and the Dodgers three. 
And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number 65. Giovanni Gallegos. Turner now at the plate as he swings through strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Into center. Bader has this one sized up. And there's one down. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman digs in now. Left-hand batter waits. And a count one and two. And the righty deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. Six three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.